back down on to Hidden Legends, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Russell Joestar here, bringing you Hidden Legends of the Green. Today we're going to be focusing on a middleweight guy that I think has what it takes to take it all the way to the top. I don't know, I mean, I've been watching this guy fight. His name's Starbuck. I'm watching him fight for a bit, and he's got what it takes, I think. Heavy, hard-hitting punches, and... Not really too much on the endurance side, but he's got some decent stamina. I'll, 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 I'll give you a stat rundown of this guy. I've been uh, getting in good with his uh, training manager and talking to him and getting some kind of insider uh, focus on this dude. I guess nobody's really given him a chance to shine, but we here on Hidden Legends think he's got what it takes. Before we get into that, I just want to let you guys know Hidden Legends is brought to you by Anthro Arcade and sponsored by Boy Nicholas Leonard, so make sure you go give them some liking for that and leave a like on this podcast if you liked it now let's get on here we're going to be taking a look at starbuck here i just gotta um search for his name here and see if i can get this going here right uh, i hate these archaic systems don't you okay okay See, they think, they think they could program this a little bit better. I'm trying to find his fights so we can we can watch them. I haven't watched any of his recent bouts. Um, uh, Nicholas is kind of giving me some fights to take a look at because you know he is he is kind of fun in the show. So <laughs> he's he's pulling some strings to get us a to get us a look at this guy. So here we go. So we got uh, Starbuck here. It's more uh, coming up from the streets. He's kind of somebody who has a little bit more emphasis on raw punch power. And I think I was talking to his trainer, and Starbuck likes to focus on that because his whole thing is, hey, I don't got to worry about fights going on for too long. I got to worry about my defense. I got to worry about none of that if I can send him down the mat quick. And I think that makes sense. Now, he's got some really good left jab power. I mean, jabs are quick to throw out, so you might as well just have those be hurting as much as you can. And he puts all of his strength into the right arm. Some people think that makes him a little off balance, but I kind of get the idea there, right? You get him back into a corner, and I've seen him do that. He gets him back in a corner, and he'll just constantly will on them with the right hand. It's just, it's amazing when you see it happen. This guy just gets them locked in and he just wells on them. But I think one of his problems is he can get a little bit too uh, impatient and that's cost him, almost cost him some fights in the past. And I think it has actually cost him a fight before. So, And uh, for his special punch, he's got that overhead when he's just got the energy to just add some flair to the fight. So let's pull up what we've got today. So we have got a match between Starbuck and Kaniki. Uh, Kaniki? Kin, 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 and then he's got to fight his way through all these guys here to take number one spot. Now, uh, let's take a look at Kaniki right here with a win of 26, five losses, and one draw. He's a KO kid and is an underrated top rank contender with raw talent and skill. His power is feared, but his chin is suspect. Yeah, he's kind of like Starbuck, but in that sense. So Chin is kind of how, how uh, Ring here rates their their endurance, their their uh, health, so to speak. And we got our kid here, Starbuck. Ring Magazine claims this kid has it all. He has the talent to become a legend in his own time. Could he be boxing's greatest sensation? Only time will tell. Honestly, I think he's got it. He's got 30 wins so far and 10 workouts. So let's get started. EBC World Class Boxing, six rounds. We got Starbuck versus Kinikini. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's get ready to it's actually going to be Starbucks' first bout among these guys in the ring. So let's see what he's got. And he just he just comes out. He's coming out swinging. There he goes. He's got him back to the corner there, giving him a punch, giving him a hook, giving him body blows. What is Kiki doing? He's just eating these blows by by Starbuck here. Starbucks just not even caring. Look at this guy. This, I tell you, this guy is nuts. He's just going after him. He's just eating these. I mean, Kenny Kenny is just eating these punches, but uh, uh, Starbucks here is just eating them too. But Starbucks doesn't care. He knows he's got it locked down. Look at that. Look at that. Knocked down in the round one. We aren't even halfway through the first round yet, and Kenny Kenny is just down on the mat by Starbucks' hand. Kenny Kenny back up. 
and they're both just going in swinging, but Starbuck is putting them to work once again, and Kinnikini is just eating these punches. What is up with that? Oh, there's a wind-up. And we got another knockdown. Starbuck hitting him with that overhead swipe. I think this might be it. Kenny Kitty is not getting back up from the mat. And we got a knockout already. A knockout. Not even halfway done in the first round. Look at that wind up. Bam! Right down onto the mat. We have a dead set knockout. Well done, Starbuck. I told you this guy. I mean, okay, yeah, sure. You might be like, this is an easy guy. This is just, you know... He's number 10 for a reason, but I don't know. You saw how he went. 48 punches thrown, 31 land, 64% landed, two knockdowns, a KO at 111 into the first round. That's great. So you got another fight lined up here. We have Leonard next with a win of 36, uh, two losses and one draw. The second coming of Sugar Ray, Leonard was a flashy and explosive fighter, excellent killer instincts, and the ability to win a round with a flurry in the final 30 seconds. 25 knockouts, too. Let's see, uh, let's see how Starbuck does against this guy here. Now, between these fights, I heard that Starbuck was kind of working a little bit more on his stamina, kind of trying to get a little bit more energy in for those long, drawn-out fights. You don't want to run out of uh, punch power in the middle of the match, so to speak, ladies and gentlemen. It's not good. You're at the mercy of your opponent if you can't uh, and throw punches. You can just bob and weave and hope for the best. Keep it clean. Yeah. And we're at the beginning of the first round. Leonard swinging out with a couple punches there. Starbuck once again just getting them into the corner. Getting them into the corner. Look at that. Leonard looks like he's aware of some of Starbuck's tricks here. Getting him with a flurry of punches. Leonard kind of recover. Uh, yeah, he kind of recovers there. Ooh, getting some some quick body blows in there. Look at that. Leonard tries to clinch. Starbuck ain't having none of that. He's just. He is just, he's in that go mode. There you go. You can see it in his eyes. He just has that. I'm going to knock this sucker out right now. He ain't going to stop me. I'm going to put you down. He just, he just eats those punches and keeps going. This guy is a machine. And there is the first knockdown in the first round. Once again, not even halfway through. And he is just on the mat. Leonard gets back up. He's ready to go. Dylan them body blows, Dylan those uppercuts, look at that, look at that, four, what's that, three or four uppercuts in a row, this guy's a machine. Leonard getting in, quick body blows, but I don't think it's going to be enough to slow down Starbucks, Starbucks is just putting him to work here, look at that. Leonard ain't uh, looking too good there, and he goes down with a body blow combo. Looks like he's going to get up. All right. We're nearing the end of the first. Well, no, we still got a minute 16 left, but I think I think Starbuck could put him down. Look at that! Look at them! Just look at him! Just go! That's ridiculous! It, those 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 combos don't even phase him. I mean, you know, I mean, he supposedly Starbuck has a low chin. Maybe he's just getting lucky here, though. I mean, Leonard's barely been dealing any serious damage. And there we go! Technical knockout. Typical Starbuck. He just takes those blows, waits for the right moment. Did he not see that coming? Like, I mean, granted, those power punches are difficult to block in the corner. Wow, Starbuck just put him down for the night. 92, 63, 68%, three knockdowns in the first round. That is some power. Don't want to mess with this kid. And I just got word that Kid Nikini wants a rematch, according to Russell's man uh, Starbucks manager, not me, I'm so used to saying my own name in these things. Anyway, uh, according to the Starbucks manager, Kid Nikini sent him a message saying, I want a rematch, sucker. Okay, I think Starbucks is going to put him down again.
And I got word that, you know, I got word that uh, Starbucks, once again, he's working on that. Working more on his endurance, his stamina, so he can keep those flurries of punches going. But let's see here. Has Kinahini learned from his first bout with with uh, with Starbuck, or is this just going to be a repeat of the first round, of uh, the first uh, bout these two had? Oh, there we go. We've got that. Oh, Kinahini getting in some good blows on Starbuck, but I don't think that's going to slow him down at all whatsoever. Starbuck knows he can clobber Kinahini's defenses and just swipe on this guy. Because again, he doesn't really have that good of a... I mean, look at that. Just down. Down. It's a repeat of the first match. It's going to be a repeat of the first match. He just went down. Starbuck is just clobbering him like he's a stack of office papers or something. I don't know. I mean, Kitty Kitty just fired off that combo and it almost hit me entirely with it. Starbuck don't care. He's just going after it. I mean, honestly, I, I kind of like Starbucks' a little rambunctious, I'm just going to keep punching you, you can't stop me attitude, but yeah, I have a feeling he's going to run into trouble. He ain't running into trouble here, though. There we go. A second knockdown. Some of these guys, you know, they've got the endurance, they've got the defense, they got the power. So Starbucks' a little game here of get him in the corner and just put the envelope of crap out of them. I don't think it's going to work when he gets higher up the ring, but we'll see. Starbuck sending a message there with that overhead punch, telling him no to stay down on the mat. This is his ring. Kinnikini goes down. Crushed him like a bag of potato chips. Look at that. Maybe uh, Kinnikini will keep his mouth shut after this. That was a technical knockout. Three KOs in the same knockdowns in the same round. 59, 37, 62, and a TKO at 127 into the first round. I tell you, man, this guy's great. All right, next up, Starbucks going to be taking on Graziano with 67 wins, 10 losses, 6 draws, and 52 KOs. The Rock is a dangerous brawler who abandons conventional boxing style. His power and chin make him ominous. His lack of defense makes for an exciting slugfest. We'll see. I mean, I've heard word Graziano is, uh... He'd definitely bring it, so I'm looking forward to this match here. Okay. And... Let's see. I'm reading a note here that the his training manager sent me. A little bit more into punch power, a little bit more into stamina this time around. I think that's going to go good. Keep working on that stamina. But Starbuck, if he's going to abandon giving himself more endurance, more like chin power, he's got to be careful. Because he can get clobbered easily. So. Like Kinnikini. It's like Kinnikini. So he's gonna have to think on his feet, protect himself from hefty blows, and here we go, beginning of the first round. Graziano's coming out, swinging with, look at that combo, but Starbuck blocks all of it, launches a low blow, uh, low body blow combo. Graziano getting some hits in on him. Starbuck has him back into the corner. Let's see if Graziano can slug his way out of it. Hitting him with a mix up there of highs and lows. Yeah, Graziano's just eating those punches. Eating those punches. I mean, Starbuck is too, but I think Graziano's looking a little bit more roughed up than uh, Starbuck is right now. Oof. Graziano getting that quick punch in. Did you see that? Putting him to work with these long combos. But Graziano's just eating, eating those hooks, eating those body blows. Speaking of eating body blows, my goodness. Okay. Starbuck recovers there, blocks the rest of the combo. Graziano tries to clinch. Starbuck can't have none of that. I think we're gonna see it. Starbuck's gonna go off. Yep, there he goes. He's just trying to. Ooh. He's trying to do the thing where he just goes off. Oh, and he misses. He misses the overhead. But I don't think uh, Starbuck. Look at that. He's like, I don't need no overhead hit. I'm gonna knock you down anyways. But Starbucks are going to roughed up. Like I said, he's he's not being defensive here. He's not keeping that chin up. Or keeping them gloves up to block those blows. And I think he's got to watch out. He's starting to black out here even. 
Graziano knows this, and he's just keeping it going. He's putting he's putting Starbuck to work. He's like, you're not going to block. He ain't going to be defensive. Then I'm just going to knock you down. I'm going to take what's mine from you. They break away from another clinch. Graziano just keeps going with those combos. Starbuck needs to back off and recover some. He's going to... Oh, my goodness. Oh, and Graziano hits him with a super uppercut, putting him down on the mat. The first time we've had him knocked down since fighting in the ring. But Starbuck quickly recovers, gets back up. Oof, did you see that? That was vicious. Graziano is, like, not going to let him go easy. Graziano sending a message here with these blows. You want to tuffle with the big guys? You got to fight like the big guys. And your little gimmick of getting me in the corner and just hitting me over and over again ain't going to work, kid. Starbuck kind of feeling a little wobbly there. I can see it. His punches look like he's getting a little tired, too. He looks like he's getting desperate. He just needs to back off. He needs to back off. What is he doing? Okay, back. So he tries to back off, but you can't just back off and put it back in the corner. Oh! Jeez! There's another one. Sends him right down to the mat, but he gets back up. Some unknown force just props this guy back up after taking that straight up brutal super uppercut from Graziano. <laughs> Starbuck gets in that last hit there at the end of the first round. 110 to 126, 66 to 55, 60 to 43, and Starbuck with two knockdowns. Unofficial score for him would only be a 7. I mean, those two knockdowns and that heavy damage Graziano did. Starbuck's got to Put the gloves up. Block some blows. Look for an opening. He's got to think quick on his feet. But I think Starbuck has what it takes. I think he's got what it takes to kind of learn learn the game here. These aren't no Little League slug matches where you can easily exploit people who just don't know how to keep their gloves up. Who don't know what to do with a flurry of punches. These guys are legends for a reason. Oh, and there's that super uppercut. Graziotto sending a clear warning to Starbuck, telling him to stay down on the mat where he belongs, but I don't know, maybe Starbuck's gonna turn it around some, but he's already getting a little, getting a little wobbly there. He's gotta learn Graziato's patterns and block and, and, and evade. Okay, Starbuck back it up into the left, maybe to buy himself some time, blocking some blows. Oof, and Graziano hits him with another super. Graziano is not playing around. He wants to bring the heat. He is here to tell the kid that he's got to up his game. A low body blow that sends him down onto the mat. This fight's going to be a real lesson for Starbuck, and he may even lose. That's two knockdowns. If Graziano hits him down one more time in this round, that's a TKO. So Starbuck has to be extra careful here. Starbuck gets off a combo. Recovers from that first hit, blocks, hitting him with the body blows. Well done, he's got a he got a combo off there. Guess is wrong. Takes a punch to the face. That quick last quip there. Okay, looks like Starbucks starting to learn his tricks here. Well, that's good. Yeah, be patient. There's always a round two. There's always a round three, Starbuck. There's always a round two and three in this. These fights go on for a while. This ain't no fight, man. This ain't no, this ain't no street fighter where it's only three rounds. I've seen Slugfest go on for 12 whole rounds. Speaking of Slugfest, look at the damage he's doing here. I think Starbuck is starting to learn, starting to catch on. He's thinking quick on his feet in the ring, and that's what you kind of need to do. You gotta be a strategist. I mean, boxing might seem like something where it's just, oh, two guys just punch each other, but you gotta think quick. You gotta adapt. You gotta be able to read your opponent. You gotta be able to read yourself. You gotta be able to know yourself and just do what you can to be quick, be fast. And Starbuck has adjusted his strategy mid-fight, as we can see here. He ain't have it anymore with Graziano's heavy combos. That desperation we saw earlier is gone. He has put Graziano on the defensive, I think. Graziano trying to fight his way out of the corner. I think the tables have turned. It's now no longer Starbuck desperately trying to keep himself on his feet. It's Graziano who's now, oh man, I think I've awakened the kid. Starbuck gets in that super punch. That overhead was great. Can he do it? Can he do it? A knockdown on the bell. And there is no save by the bell, so he's got to get up. 
He's got to get up. I think he's going to get up. Look at that. Graziano ain't ready to give it in just yet. <sighs> Graziano, Starbucks staring each other down at the end of the second round. 118 to 128, 84 to 43, 71 to 34, and 1 to 1. Unofficial scorer giving it to Graziano, which I do have to give him that. Graziano did way more damage this round than he did, than Starbuck did. Starbuck got that knockdown. It was not going to be good enough. Let's see if Starbuck has learned enough to put down Graziano. Yeah, there we go. Graziano's only getting some hits on rather than just entire strings of combos, and Graziano hits him with that uppercut. Look at that. But Starbuck is not phased at all. He's just keeping it together, it looks like. Block that. Block that. Block that. Block those blows. Get it to him. Mm, getting in those cross combos, those jab combos, amazing. <laughs> they're, both, they're both just trading blows. Look at that. Exciting slugfest indeed. Jeez. Neither seems willing to give an inch. Graziano is looking a little beat up, but he's not ready to throw in the towel just yet. Looking a little beat up here. Can Starbuck put him down? Hopefully he doesn't get two, because we know how Starbuck gets. Oh, and he puts him down with some body blows. The saying, we know how Starbuck gets. He gets in that crazy mode, he backs him in the corner, and he just starts the flurry of punches and drops his defense. But I don't think he can afford that with Graziano. Hit him with a combo jab. Good, good, good. Starbuck eating some punches there, and he can't afford to eat punches from Graziano like that. Was that another uppercut combo like that? Starbuck saying, you like uppercuts? Let me give you some uppercuts. Let me give you some uppercuts. How do you like them uppercuts, eh? Might not be the super uppercut. Oh, but we see him winding up. There it is. There it is. He's just eating those punches. There's a super body blow knockdown for the win. Maybe. I don't know. I think Grazi almost got him in him to get back up. Not much time left in the third round. But I think Starbuck is going to try to put him down and not give Graziano a chance to recover for a fourth round. He says, there he goes, he's doing the body blow thing again. He's eating punches and just, he doesn't care anymore. This guy is nuts. There he goes with that <laughs> combo. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Starbuck should be careful. Graziano looks like he's got it in him to hit him with another one of those surprise super uppercuts. So, you know. I don't know. Nope, nope, that's it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Boom, body blow, body blow, winds up. Graziano tries to block, but it just... It wasn't... He just didn't have the energy, I guess. TKO in the round three. What a turnaround. I was worried there for a second. I thought Starbuck was just going to eat the canvas. But he pulled through. 346, 229, 66% with three knockdowns. Graziano got four on him, but again... Starbuck got that TK, uh, no, uh, Starbuck got three knockdowns. That was, uh, Graziano who knocked, who's knocked down four times. It's just just in, Leonard wants a rematch. Telling Starbuck inside the ring, I'm a handsome thing, but beware, my punches sting. I think Starbuck's gonna answer that challenge. Now, between these fights, I heard that, uh, reading some notes here, between these fights, Starbuck kind of wanted to focus a little bit more on that endurance, because that last match was a wake-up call. He's got to work on his health, his energy, his endurance, his chin, whatever you want to call it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Keep it clean. And he needs to remember, there's always round two and three. These rounds go on for eight rounds. These bouts, these matches, whatever you want to call them. These batches, matches go on. These batches, these batches of fights. Speaking of a fight, we got Starbuck putting the body blows on Leonard. 
And then it tries to hit him with a combo, but it ain't really doing much. And then it tries to clinch. Starbuck ain't having none of that. Starbuck hits him with that surprise uppercut there. Does it, Starbuck's just not, you know, he knows, he knows, he knows. He's Red Leonard, he knows. This guy hasn't learned a thing since their last fight, just like with Kinnikinny. He's just putting him the work. Here he comes, here it comes, here it comes. Body blow, knockdown, and I had a bit of lag in the video there. Sorry about that. All right, Leonard's back on his feet, staring each other down. Leonard tries to come out swinging, but uh, Starbuck ain't having none of that. Gets in that body blow combo. Oof, that was brutal. The Starbuck again, he just doesn't care. Look at this guy. He knows. He's like, you ain't Graziano. I ain't got to worry about you. I'm just going to knock you the F down. Look at that. Overhead down. He's back up on his feet. Can Starbuck uh, put him down for the TKO? We'll have to see. Hit him with those body blows again. Leonard tries to fire back with his own body blow combo, but I don't think it's going to do much. It ain't slowing this kid down at all whatsoever. There is an overhead. A warning shot to stay down on the mat. There's another overhead. Leonard is looking shaky. Starbuck just needs to get a few more hits, and there he goes down in the third time in the first round with a minute left on the clock. Look at that. Those body blows, man. I can kind of see why he uh, focused on that so much in his training. We got a technical knockout. Round one. 84, 53, 63%. Starbuck TKO'd Leonard at two minutes into the first round. Alrighty, well that's all that we have available for you today on the Legends Podcast, brought to you by Anthro Arcade and sponsored by one Nicholas Leonard. Uh, not the Leonard that 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 uh, Starbuck clobbered, mind you. <laughs> if you like that, like we have, we are also posting this over up on YouTube. So if you watch this on YouTube, hey, make sure you subscribe to Anthro Arcade. They are hosting the Legends Podcast on their channel. Give them some love. Give them a like. Give them some comments. Let them know what you think. And. We want to also let you know that um, we've got all kinds of ways to help support the Legends Podcast and Anthro Arcade as well. Down in the description below, if you want to check that out, we've got things like uh, you know, Classic PayPal Me, and uh, I think they have a Patreon. I think I'll have to talk to Nicholas about that, figure out what the, what the up and down is on that. And if you like what you see here on the Legends Podcast, don't forget to share with people so we get more people in the Starbucks here. Like I tell you, this guy, this kid, he's got it. He's gonna be it. He's gonna be the next thing. He had a tough spot there with Graziano, but I think he's got what it takes. So, my name is Russell Joestar. Thank you guys for tuning in and listening or watching the Legends Podcast. I'll see you guys next time. Sources tell me. Well, not sources. You can see it right here. We got a showdown between Starbuck and Tony. Looking forward to it, and I hope you guys are as well. Until next time, cheerio.